Hey, what's going on YouTube's Krosama? So I know people wanted to see my collection and my collection is kind of split into two different rooms. Uh, so this is pretty much an updated from one year ago back in May of 2018. So a lot actually has changed. Uh, the living room itself has changed ever since we had a kid. Uh, we do have like more of the kids stuff and it's a, not as organized as it once was. So hey, when you, whenever you have a kid, you know, you're kind of a little bit more messy, but yeah, this is the living room and and right behind here I have my collection now starting up here I do have my Godzilla collection uh, I don't I don't have Batra up here Batra is still in the storage and eventually I'll get around to uh, putting Batra right up here with all my collection but you know the SH Monsters line is super expensive uh, I'm still gonna try and get a couple of others that I, I really want but they're averaging between like 85 to like $500 depending and right here I do have my Beast Wars collection, so really, really love Beast Wars, um, just kind of more focused on the Masterpiece collection, so I already completed the Masterpiece collection for the Beast Wars, uh, just waiting for Black Arachnia and then Leo Convoy to come out, uh, but I do have my little Rampage right here over in tank mode, and I have Scorponok, one of my favorite uh, Beast Wars characters, and then also you have uh, Tarantula, or Tarantulas. And here I do have more of my uh, Masterpiece collection, so this is just Primarily all just G1 actually. Yeah, it's all all G1. Now I do have some of the Robotech, so like the Megatron and the uh, the Rodimus right there, or Hot Rod, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I like you know I like G1 the most. Uh, however, you know there's not too many characters I'm like I need. Uh, so I think the only one I really need right now is going to be uh, Ratchet. And down here is just continuation. This is mostly going to be my Michael Bay stuff. Uh, so I do have a couple of Bumblebees right there. I do have the uh, Studio Series Jetfire as well as a uh, really big. It's I know it's <laughs> I know it's a Chinese product. Um, Optimus. I'm trying to get the, uh, the brightness a little bit higher. Uh, so yeah, it's a really big Optimus, really good fine detail. And then I do have the uh, the 1.0 masterpiece Optimus Prime. And down here is just kind of more of the random stuff. So I uh, started picking up the Siege line, uh, just another uh, Michael Bay Optimus, and then just got some of the animated right over there, Waspinator, as well as Black Arachnia. Uh, then just, you know, got some War for Cybertron right behind over there. So, uh, my only Prime figure, uh, which I really would love to get more of the uh, Prime series. And then just a, um, I think this is Power of the Primes uh, Grimlock. And down here I do have Bruticus as well as uh, Devastator. So yeah, really like the uh, Construct Constructicons. Uh, don't really want any other ones. Uh, this is kind of like a really big boy, so I'm going to be happy with that. And then I have an oversized uh, Megatron Masterpiece. It's Well, it's not the official Masterpiece. It's the... Uh, I forgot the uh, the brand it is. But yeah, it is a little bit bigger than the actual Masterpiece. But super damn nice. And moving on to the other shelf, so right here at the top is my wing collection. Uh, kind of small, you know, it's not really too many, but it's mostly just the uh, the Endless Waltz OVA wing, so not really too many right there. I know the Perfect Gray, whenever I do build it, it's going to go right there in the back. Uh, then looking over here, just going to have more of my wing suits. So just kind of got it in these little brackets, like these little sub uh, shelves. It's a little bit easier to kind of like categorize things, so I have just some more. I got like Ultron right there, I got uh, Death Scythe right there chilling in the back. And then over here I do have the Endless Waltz um, Glory, Glory for Losers, or I guess Frozen Teardrop uh, stuff, so that's all sitting right there. Next is going to be my Tall Geese and my One Little Leo. Here I do have two Epions, one's going to be uh, the one that will Faye use, uh, basically call it... Uh, the Taku, I don't know why, but yeah. I haven't read the series, but I just kind of like the fact that he had a white and blue Epion. And now we're going to move over to the Iron Blooded Orphan. So, yeah, just got some of the Iron Blooded Orphan stuff right there. I got my Barbados suits all right here, which I'm trying to sell most of them because we got the Master Grade, and you know all the forms are going to be coming out. So, I'm trying to sell these as soon as I can. Uh, then we can go to G Wreck. I do love the G Self. I think that was the best thing to come out of that series. Uh, so, I did get all, pretty much all of them as, as they released. And then more just kind of like some G-Rack. I got the Extreme Gundam right there. I also have uh, Beginning G um, and just other little knick-knack stuff in the back. And here's going to be pretty much all my Amiibos. I do have a large collection of Amiibos. Some more right here. And if you go down, I'm going to have more Amiibos right there. And lastly, I do have some more Amiibos, my, uh, my Zelda stuff right there. 
And you can't forget about having a cloud. Uh, of some way, shape, or form, you need to have a cloud figure in your collection. Uh, basically one of the most iconic JRPG, JRPG characters in existence. Uh, and then just some, you know, like Sora, Lucario. This is kind of just more random stuff I just put up here. And then uh, obviously all the Blu-rays. And now we come into the main room. This is where all the Gundam stuff is. Uh, so I, I'm just going to do kind of like a a wide panning shot so uh i all this right here is going to be just the closets so this is the backlog stuff this is just where i put junk in um then i got the one shelf over here i know i got all this light in this uh this place i'm gonna try and lower it down all right so over here is my air uh airbrush set so i do have it to where it goes outside uh so i do have to open the open door I, I know most people kind of like have a window and they they tape it all around to where there's there, like there's an, a direct escape uh, for the you know the um, the paint and fumes to go out of, where as you're not bringing in the outside temperatures, but I don't really have that luxury in this house. I would have to go into a different room to paint, and my wife uh, my wife is not going to allow me to have one room to myself uh, for painting and then one room for building and collecting. So this is kind of like the best thing I can do is just open that. Pray that it's not super humid. Uh, if it's a little bit cold, um, it doesn't really get too cold in here since I am painting uh, right here. But yeah, this is pretty much the uh, the area for that. Next is going to be the building area. So this is where I I build. I kind of just have like all my live stream stuff right here. Got my uh, computer section where I do all the editing, and then this. I don't know what this is for. <laughs> I just kind of put things over here. Uh, sometimes it's like backlog kits that I need to review. Uh, so I got like the Shinkan line right there I need to review. Uh, but I also have to do some work with the Alex. I'm going to do its own video for uh, detailing and doing some painting and stuff like that. Uh, and then I got to review the uh, Porta Nova eventually. Right over here is where I do all my reviews. I I do have a, a a new table that I have to build. So this old table right there is gonna go away. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna fold it up, put it away for a while, and then uh, I'll have a brand new table right there. It's gonna be actually very like solid and not like wonky in a soft plastic, it's like a, a hard wood. So that's gonna be really good. And then just as I just throw stuff all down here. So and I got my two lights right here on the sides. Now I know this is kind of like the main bulk of all my kits. Uh, so you definitely gonna be hearing my kit in the background. Um, I'm gonna turn to the brightness just a little bit. All right, so just starting up on the top shelf uh, because this is all like one you know series. I try to keep I try to keep everything within one series. Some some of it's gonna be a little mix mash, uh, but this is all my unicorn stuff. So I got my uh, painted Kasatra right there, and I got a little picture of me behind or in front of the uh, unicorn statue. But yeah, this is just like my entire unicorn collection. Uh, I, I thoroughly love the Gundam Unicorn series. I think it's just, I think it's an amazing series. Now I knew <laughs> I have the narrative right there. He's he's the only he's one of two narrative kits I have in my entire collection. So, oh, I take it back. I got I got I got the um, the Phoenix. I forgot about him. But yeah, uh, overall, man, I just I love Gundam Unicorn. I know people are like, oh, Bandai needs to stop making kits. I I can agree. I do wish that they had. Um, you know more of other series come out but you know whenever they come out with a Gundam unicorn um, I'm, I'm thoroughly happy so this is one of my painted unicorns uh, the Phoenix narrative uh, I made a review on that so you can definitely check it out on the channel and then I got the master grade uh, gold plated Phoenix and then I'm just gonna kind of zoom in so you can see a little bit better but yeah I got just some of the uh, full armor so I got the real grade full armor just chilling right there on the shelf you know, hasn't moved. And then I got the Master Grade right there on the back. I do have the No Grade Exia, uh, which I was giving that away on Twitter, but the guy never like messaged me, so I'm just gonna sit there. Uh, Figure Eye Standard Goku Ultra Instinct, and then you got the Perfect Grade Coded um, RX78. Next is going to be the Psycho Zaku. I haven't built the full armor one, yet, the full armor Gundam yet. I really want to the Thunderbolt. Um, I just don't really want to at this time, uh, but whenever I do build it, it's going to go over here in this little section. Now, in this section, uh, just yeah, my boy uh, Arthur signed <laughs> the Captain Morgan private stock. That was uh, that was the first alcoholic beverage for the uh, the drunk series, so he signed that and gave it to me. I do have a Shars helmet uh, for when I go out and ride my bike. Uh, up there, I do have the uh, Anna Gundam. 
And then right next to it, I'm going to, have to move the uh, the helmet out of the way. Uh, I do have a Lincoln Park Gundam still in the box. I found another one for like I think 30 bucks, but uh, I decided not to get it. I was like, yeah, I really do want it, but um, I don't really need two in my collection. Now over here is going to be the like core UC stuff, so things that are from maybe the Origin line, or it's all going to be you know kind of just from other different series. So I have like the cast of all Gundam right back there. I uh, think it only really appeared in the PS2 game; uh, it hasn't really appeared in any other like source material. Uh, then I got like a TriStar Zaku, got the Shar Zaku Dom, um, lots of cool things in my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna have to raise the brightness once more. There we go. So, sorry about that. I'm just kind of like editing the, uh, we're messing with the settings on this camera. Uh, and then I got the 2.0, and I have a 3.0 Gundam that's kind of just chilling right over there. Uh, then I have the Origin, so... Yeah, lots of lots of really good kits, man. I love I love the RX seventy eight dash two line. Uh, next, we're coming down to the uh, the high new. Then we have the high new Verka. Then we got the new Verka, and of course I got my Nightingale. That was the, the painted one. Uh, this is actually the first kit I've ever painted using uh, an airbrush set. So I still think it looks really good. Um, I probably maybe should have like did a little bit extra to it. I felt like I I just went way too plain. But I think for the most part, it does look okay. Uh, no one's really giving me any kind of like crap for it. Uh, the only thing is like, you could probably see some of the dips in the uh, the plastic. I think mainly up here in the uh, the wing, or that, uh, like the little binder. I guess you can't really see it that well. But there's some dips in the plastic. I should just sand it down. And then of course you have the Sazabi uh, real grade. Then you can have the massive grade Verka, which is a beautiful kit. Coming down here, you are going to have the Moon Gundam. He's just going to be more of like the UC-oriented kits. Uh, GPO-4, which I absolutely love. This is my favorite RE100 kit to date. It is just a hunk of mass. Uh, and then you're also going to have the uh, GP right there, the uh, full Vern. And then uh, GPO-2, which looks beautiful. I got a random figure of from a uh, scribe. Uh, I don't know how many people actually know of that anime, but it's a really good anime. Uh, the Mark II 2.0, so that's an amazing kit. Definitely pick that up if you can. Uh, then I have the uh, Zeta 2.0. Once again, another amazing master grade. Uh, my painted SD right there, and then I got the uh, the RG Zeta, which is an amazing kit. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, got the Hyakushiki 2.0, and then the uh, Ja or DJ, whatever you want to call it. I just call it the J. And then uh, down here, I have the 1.0 Master Grade Double Zeta. Um, not really too keen on it. Really want to get rid of it. A Fallen Sasuke. <laughs> I got some of the um, SH Figure Arts. Or is it the SH Figure Arts? Yeah, yeah. SH Figure Arts Naruto. Um, then I got the Real Grade Crossbone. I got the Zuda painted. And then the Faz, which I want to get rid of. Not gonna name everything off. I'm gonna kind of just run through because I don't want this video to be like super ridiculously long. Uh, but it's gonna be a lot of the crossbone as well as uh, victory units over here. So basically, just the master grades, and uh, I do have the robot Damashi right there. And coming to this section, this whole entire um, shelf is going to be double O. So yeah, I absolutely love double O. I think it's. I think it's a great series. It was one of the series that got me like back into it. Uh, I do have a Fallen HG riser right there. Uh, now this was the first kit I've ever painted was my uh, Inspection Colors 00 uh, Seven Swords. Really love this kit. Even to this day, I, I do feel like I did a decent job. I did a metallic red on it instead of a flat red. Um, one of these days, I'm going to buy another one and then paint it again, uh, in basically Inspection Colors, but I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more of a better job uh, and just kind of like, you know, update a, a first kit I've ever painted. And then over here is just going to be all the Exes. I got the uh, Avalanche, the uh, Astra uh, uh, Astrias right there in the back. And of course you can't have a collection without some age kits. So this entire shelf is also dedicated to uh, Gundam Age. So this is all basically the first generation. Uh, you know, got the Razor right there. I got just the the basic suits, the Titus, I got the uh, the regular age one normal. The Master Grade is over there in the corner getting reviewed. Uh, this is going to be the second generation with Asamu. Uh, this is going to be his age two stuff, looking all nice and cool. And coming down here, you're going to have uh, more of the generation three stuff, so the age FX, full burst, uh, some of the clanches down there. I got the age three orbital. Fortress is right over there, and then I have the MG Dark Hound right there. And of course, all the bad guys all right here. So a lot of these I do want to sell. 
Uh, I haven't really decided like when and how and all that. Uh, but I want to get rid of a lot of them because I do have like the, the Zetas R right there. I want to paint a lot of these kits, man. Um, I, I, been, I was building these kits during a time that you, you, I just couldn't airbrush. I, there's no way I could have bought an airbrush because uh, it wasn't allowed in the, um, the living area I was in. So I was just like, you know what, um, I'll just buy them and then... Uh, you know, looking back on it, the quality of my build wasn't too good. There's a lot of scarring from uh, how I was actually like trimming down the nubs. So I rebought a lot of these kits, and I'm gonna paint them in the future. But yeah, don't hold me to that. And over here is just going to be two, basically two full shelves of build divers, uh, build fighters, um, build fighters try, uh, and then like all the manga stuff. So this is just a big mix mash collection of like build stuff. Uh, but it's two full shells because man that th spanning three series I mean there was a lot of good suits uh, pretty much most if not all the suits in my collection for the build series I actually absolutely love uh, love the I love the lightning uh, kits I think the lightnings were really damn good so got all those um, the GM cardigan was also really good now some the the potent or po potent um, I don't really care about that one I just I actually did paint that just for whatever reason um, but yeah I, I mean for the most part I love all the kits that came from the build series um, mostly from the original build series oh and these I got some of the random stuff so I got like a G Gundam and I got um, shit I even I forgot what old boy from X Gundam was called um, but yeah, I got that one. I got the uh, X Gundam Master Grade right there. I also have the Double X right there. And then I got that beautiful Turn A because I absolutely love Turn A. And just looking at more of the Build Divers stuff. So yeah, a bunch of Build Divers kits all in here. Um, most of them are pretty good, except for that uh, Beam Master. I hate, I, God, I hate that kit. And then just looking over here, yeah, more, more Build Fighter stuff. So this is all from the original Build Fighters. Looking really good. Uh, some from like the OVA, like uh, Oh Boy right there. Um, then down here, you're gonna have more just build fighters. A uh, little bit of the manga stuff with the uh, the freedom, the amazing freedom, or amazing strike freedom, I believe. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. And down there, wow, more build fighters. Actually, this is a mix between build divers. Uh, you got a couple of build divers kits right there, and then build uh, fighters try. Yeah, so this is mostly build fighters try and uh, divers right over here. And moving over here to this other shelf, this is all basically going to be seed oriented. So I do have like the master grade, real grade, uh, strike freedoms. Looking pretty good. I haven't built a lot of the other um, seed kits in my collection, but yeah. This is going to be more right over here. So more mass, uh, master grades as well as real grades in the collection. And down here, you're going to have the uh, boy band of the C group. So all looking really damn good in a random uh, SD kit. This shelf is just like just some random figures I, I've collected throughout my years. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't really have plans to review any of these. I, I have reviewed, I think, uh, the Black Rock Shooter right there. But for everything else, I have not touched. And here's going to be the Sea Destray, so obviously it's going to be mostly red frame, of course. Uh, and I got another uh, Black Rock Shooter right there, and then just more Stray. And here we are having most of my uh, Frame Arms Girls, Megami Devices, and just anything that is uh, like girl related. And I got uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin just uh, having a brewski. And down here is just going to be more random uh, kits. So I got like a Jehu T over there, I do have the uh, 30 minute missions, and I got my Mazinger stuff right over here. And over here, I am going to show you all my uh, my backlog. It's it's pretty extensive right now. It's a lot of kits in here. So yeah, don't don't stack it like I did. I I definitely should not be stacking these kits like this. But I don't really have much of a means of uh you know of of storing all my backlog st uh, stuff. We we have a storage area, but even the storage area is uh is pretty tight so i'm trying to raise the brightness up just a little bit more but yeah more backlog kits right inside here that eventually i will get around to uh to building and it's two perfect grades right there all the way at the bottom but um uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys i don't have too much else uh in terms of like what i can show you with my collection i know a lot of people have been asking you know for me to show off the, the collection so here it is guys um you know, hey, this is where the magic happens. Uh, but I hope you did enjoy this. this. Is you know a little bit of insight of you know how my collection has grown. Um, but I am getting to the point where I'm about to start boxing up a lot of uh, kits, and I'm gonna start sending over to um, 
to my uh, wife's house over in Kobe. And then when I, I'm just going to like keep, you know, putting all the kids over there, especially when we move. Cause if I can't stay here or if I had, if I have to go to Okinawa, um, most of these kids are not going to be coming with me. I'm going to kind of start new. Um, so it's going to be like, Hey, if I go, if I move in the next, um, year and a half and I can't stay in Iwakuni, then yeah, I'll go to Okinawa with basically like maybe a couple of kids with me. So I don't want to keep moving them cause they do get damaged. Uh, parts go missing and yeah, like my, my master grade X Gundam, uh, the move from Mississippi to here, it got damaged. Um, the little connecting point on the back broke. So I'm like, shit, you know, Definitely need to better package them, but uh, also moving is just chaotic because te different temperatures and paint it builds get scratched up. So yeah, I'm just gonna do one more move. I'm gonna put them all over in Kobe and be done with them. But that's it guys, definitely thank you for watching and I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. So hey, maybe uh, the next time you see all this is gonna be in a different place. But that's it guys, bye bye.